channel and for those that are new welcome so as you can see by the title of this video I'm going to be doing another hair video for you guys today I haven't done a hair video in a while but I did want to go ahead and try out this wig again since I first got it a couple months back probably about six months ago um, I did do a video on this wig where I was custom coloring it so this is the color that it came out it was not this color when I was sent this wig it was a black like the roots as you can see and I did dye the bottom parts this nice golden blonde color if you're interested in seeing how i did that i'll put a tag or a card somewhere right here so you guys can go ahead and click and watch that video if you guys are interested um, so basically what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do today is how to cut and customize your own baby hairs. So as you can see, I did do some baby hairs over here. And the reason why you're going to want to do baby hairs on a lace front is because it's going to make it look just that much more natural. And it's going to just hide the lace a little bit more in the front. As you can see, you can kind of see the lace here in the front. But with the side with the baby hairs, it's not so bad. So it's obviously still not going to look 150% natural when somebody's right up close in your face, but how often does that really happen? Um, most of the time, people are not going to be all up in your face where they're going to be looking at your hairline like, oh my God, look at her lace. I can see her lace. Da, 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 da. That's not her natural hair. You guys get what I'm saying. So before we do go ahead and get into the tutorial, I do want to quickly touch on the company that was nice enough to send me this unit. So the company's name is Lady Hair and it is 100% virgin human hair. Um, if you're interested, you can follow them on Instagram at, at Lady Hair. I will have it linked right here down below. I will also have it in the description box. Um, I also will go ahead and put a link to this direct unit down in the description box if you guys are interested in purchasing it. The hair is very, very affordable. Even though I was sent this hair, I would definitely think about purchasing it if I I wasn't sent it because their prices are very competitive and they are not expensive at all and this hair is freaking bomb it's literally so soft it dyed so well it's not damaged after being dyed or anything like that um so i would definitely 100 recommend um and yeah that's about all i can think of at this point so before we do go ahead and get started please just make sure you're hitting that subscribe button down below if you're not subscribed to my channel already and also make sure you're hitting that notification bell so you're notified every single time i post a new video because you don't want to miss out so let's just go ahead and move on to this tutorial on how to cut and customize baby hairs on a lace front unit all right, so I did go ahead and zoom you guys in just so you can get a better look at what I'm doing. And as you can see, now that I zoomed you in, you can kind of see the lace up here where we are going to need to cover it. So as you can see right here where I have these baby hairs, you can only really see the lace right here. And it's not too noticeable, so I probably could have done a little bit of a better job laying these baby hairs. But this is only for the sake of the tutorial. I'm not going nowhere, so it's all good um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and get started on the other side i'm just gonna throw this hair in the back out of my way okay so there are only a couple things that you're gonna need for this process you're gonna want to have a comb like this one you can also use a rat tail or anything like that you're just gonna want a comb with some small bristles that you can use for parting in the front um and then you're gonna want to use a toothbrush to lay your baby hairs i personally like to use toothbrushes i don't like using brushes to lay my baby hairs because i like that the toothbrush has the really small little bristles um, but that's just me personally if you want to use a brush or whatever you usually would use to do your baby hairs Go ahead and do that. I use a toothbrush and you're gonna want to get some super hold like gel So the gel that I'm gonna be using is the got to be ultra glued This is the invincible styling gel and this is the black one I know if you guys watch wig videos and things like that You've probably seen this one and the yellow one kind of floating around YouTube videos um, I've tried both I personally like this one because it does dry clear the yellow one tends to dry more white um, so I did go ahead and pick up this black one and since using it I like it a lot better than the yellow um, and this I do like using when I'm laying my baby hairs on wigs because it does stick to my skin so the wig is not gonna move usually if I was laying my real baby hairs on my real hair I would use um, this eco styler this olive oil eco styler gel um, but this doesn't have as strong of a hold and it's not my real hair so I don't really care that it has alcohol and things like that that are going to harm my hair because like I said it's not my hair and this got to be glued is literally like glue so it's going to give you a really really nice hold um and the last thing you're going to need is of course just some scissors oh fuck I'm like stabbing myself 
Um, the last thing you're gonna need is of course some scissors because we are gonna be cutting the hairs in the front to make our baby hairs. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're going to kind of pull all of the hair from the hairline. So you're gonna kind of pull it back and please just ignore the fact that it's like coming up right here. I know this is like super ratchet, but it's okay. And if I'm not looking at the camera, I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at this mirror that I have in front of me. Um, so just don't freak out, I'm sorry. I have to see myself. Um, okay, so what you're going to go ahead and be doing is pulling out hairs from the front. So what you're going to do is you're just going to part, as you can see, part some hairs out from the front like so and just pull them down. You're going to do that all the way across. You can get as little as you want, as much as you want. It doesn't matter. You can pull out as much baby hairs as you desire and you're gonna want to just pull it tight and check it and then just keep on going all the way until you get to the ear I'm just gonna clip all of this extra hair back out of the way because we are gonna be cutting you don't want to be cutting your parts of the way that you don't want to cut, if you know what I'm saying. So now so we're going to go ahead and take our scissors and we're going to start cutting. So it really doesn't matter. You can literally just cut them straight across. Um, all we're really doing this for is to shorten them so that they're actual like baby hair length. Um, if they're too long, it's just like super like fake looking and it just doesn't you know look like real baby hairs at all it just looks like I don't know like hair that you just decided to slick down okay so now is when you're gonna go ahead and take your toothbrush and your glue and we're gonna get to laying these baby hairs girl so all I like to do is I like to squeeze this out kind of like toothpaste onto the toothbrush and I'll just squeeze it out and just grab some right on there and then the first thing that I like to do before we actually make this swoop like this is I like to just brush the hairs straight down. Get some more glue. Brush the hair straight down. I'll kind of swoop them a little bit to the, the way that they're going to go. Um, but I really just need to get them laid down before I can swoop them honestly would you guys judge if I just left them like this <laughs> I swear I'm not even gonna lie to you guys I swear some girls do their freaking baby hairs like this and they think it looks so bomb and they're like yes girl my baby hairs are snatched and i'm just like you have way too many baby hairs it doesn't even look like real for one second okay so of course my camera cut off in the middle of me doing my swoops so basically as you can see now i have all of these swoops put together in one giant one and now what i'm basically going to be showing you guys in the next clip is i'm going to show you how you're going to go ahead and separate them so that it looks a lot more natural you is you're going to want to cut the swoops not literally cut them but you're going to want to separate them like this and then you're going to basically separate them and take a little bit of hair out from the center. So basically the middle part, the part that is in between them. So like right there. And you're just gonna pull that out. So now you have a gap in between the two. So now I'm gonna show you again. A little bit of glue. You're gonna go in into your swoop, but you have a gap. I don't know if you can see that. 
but I'll do it again. I'll pull it back out. And you're gonna have a gap. This is how the other side came out once I went in and I cut the gap in between the two um, swoops. Yeah, this is the end result of the baby hairs. I will go ahead and zoom you guys back out really quickly just so you can see the full end result from a little bit of a farther view. So this is what the hair is looking like zoomed out. You can see I have the baby hairs on both sides. You can tuck this behind the ear if you'd like. Any way that you want to wear this, you can because now it looks a lot more natural because we do have the baby hairs covering up the lace in the front. Um, so yeah, I'm sorry if I didn't do that great of a job explaining what I was doing and plus I was having some camera difficulties. The camera kind of cut off in a couple different spots. I absolutely love the way that it came out. This wig is so fucking bomb, you guys. I definitely, like I said earlier, again, would recommend purchasing from this company if you're looking for inexpensive wigs bundles hair anything like that um, i do hope you guys enjoyed this video and once again if you are interested all the information will be linked down below on this unit on the company and all the products that i did use all of that will be listed down below for you guys if you did like this video go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and also like i said in the beginning if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you're subscribing down below and hitting that notification bell and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye